Well, Hawaii's affordable housing crisis is getting worse, especially for seniors on fixed incomes. As k 24 s Kristen Concilio reports, with rising inflation and increasing rents, many seniors are being stretched thin. With only $800 a month in Social Security, 68-year-old Karen Jones pays for groceries, household supplies, and other necessities that continue to go up in price. That money also has to cover her rent. To go and find a place for that seven or $800 a month that many seniors get, and that's it, um, is impossible. But you wouldn't even be able to really survive on the streets with that 800 much less in an apartment or a home. She's living in temporary housing and recently received an emergency housing voucher with 60 days to find an affordable unit. But without enough of them, she's left in a precarious situation. Jones is among thousands of Kupunan fixed incomes at high risk for homelessness. The prices are skyrocketing now. A lot of the buildings that we've formerly had as affordable housing, uh, the landlords are increasing the rents uh, to the point where they're not affordable for our seniors who are on fixed incomes. Homeless advocacy group Partners in Care is already seeing more people cutting elsewhere in order to pay the rent. All of the services, even the medical assistance that people may need, including medication, those may be set on the back burner in order for people to keep housing. Without housing, uh, people are not able to maintain their health. Social service groups are trying to find more landlords willing to accept low-income housing vouchers. They're also urging state leaders to build more affordable housing units before more people end up in crisis. Kristen Concilio, KITV4 Island News.